Life can be full of highs and lows, seasons of abundance, and times of drought. As Christians, many of us experience what we call unwanted seasons, periods in our lives where things seem stagnant, where prayers seem unanswered, and where dreams seem to be delayed. We may long for changes in our relationships, careers, finances, or spiritual journeys, but despite our prayers, these shifts may not come in the timing we desire. These seasons can be frustrating, confusing, and even painful. The question that often echoes in our hearts is, why won't God just end this unwanted season? This question isn't just about impatience. It's about understanding God's purpose in our lives. Why does he sometimes allow us to remain in these prolonged periods of waiting? In this text, we'll explore this theme from a biblical and spiritual perspective, focusing on four potential reasons why God may not have ended this season yet and how we can faithfully navigate through it. 1. Your season of waiting might be a season of growth. One of the primary reasons God may not end an unwanted season is because He is using it to grow you in ways you cannot fully see or understand. Often, we focus on the external circumstances, believing that change in our environment will bring fulfillment. However, God is more concerned with our internal transformation than with our external situation. He uses seasons of waiting to grow our faith, character, patience, and reliance on Him. In James 1 verses 2 to 4, we are told to count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds. For you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. This passage highlights that trials, including unwanted seasons, are designed to strengthen our faith. They are opportunities for God to shape us, making us more mature and complete in Christ. God may not end this season because He knows there are lessons you still need to learn. These lessons may involve developing deeper trust in Him, learning to surrender your will, or growing in patience and endurance. Just as a seed must be buried in the soil and endure seasons of darkness before it sprouts and blooms, we, too, often need to endure seasons of waiting before we can see the fruit God intends for our lives. During these times, it's crucial to ask ourselves, what is God trying to teach me? How can I grow through this season? Shifting our focus from why am I still here to what is God doing in me allows us to find purpose even in the waiting. Two, God might be protecting you from a premature blessing. Sometimes the very thing we long for can become dangerous or harmful if we receive it too soon. We may think we are ready for marriage, a promotion, or a new opportunity, but God, in His infinite wisdom, sees what we cannot. He knows that receiving certain blessings prematurely could lead to harm, pride, or even spiritual downfall. Consider the story of the Israelites in the wilderness. In Exodus 13 verse 17, it says, When Pharaoh let the people go, God did not lead them by way of the land of the Philistines although that was near. For God said, lest the people change their minds when they see war and return to Egypt. God purposefully led the Israelites on a longer route to protect them from battles they were not yet ready to face. Though they could have reached the promised land faster, they needed to be prepared for the challenges ahead. In the same way, God may be delaying the end of your unwanted season because he knows you are not yet ready to handle the blessing you are praying for. Perhaps receiving that blessing too soon would cause you to idolize it, depend on it, or mishandle it. In His love, God protects us by refining our character and deepening our relationship with Him before giving us what we desire. God's timing is always perfect. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1 reminds us, For everything, there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven. Just because God has not answered your prayer in the timing you expected, does not mean he is denying your request. It may simply mean he is preparing you for it. Trust in his timing, knowing that when you are ready, the blessing will come, and it will be far better than anything you could have imagined. 3. God is preparing you for a greater purpose. Another reason God may allow you to remain in an unwanted season is because he is preparing you for a greater purpose than you currently understand. 
Sometimes, the things we go through are not just for our benefit, but for the benefit of others. Your pain, your trials, and your waiting may be the very tools God uses to equip you for ministry, service, or a future calling. In 2 Corinthians 1 verses 3 to 4, Paul writes, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction, with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. This passage reveals that our hardships are not just for us. They are meant to equip us to help others who will face similar struggles. If you are in an unwanted season of singleness, perhaps God is shaping you into a person who will one day mentor and encourage others walking through that same season. If you are enduring financial struggles, perhaps God is teaching you how to manage your resources so that you can one day lead others in financial stewardship. Whatever your current struggle may be, trust that God is preparing you for a greater purpose. Sometimes we cannot see the full picture of what God is doing. Joseph, for example, endured many unwanted seasons, betrayal by his brothers, slavery, and imprisonment. Yet, through it all, God was preparing him to save his family and many others during a time of famine, Genesis 50 verse 20. What seemed like senseless suffering was actually preparation for a purpose far greater than Joseph could have imagined. In the same way, your unwanted season may be the training ground for a future calling. Stay faithful, knowing that God is working behind the scenes to prepare you for something greater. 4. God is waiting for your obedience. In some cases, God may not have ended your unwanted season because He is waiting for you to step out in obedience. While it is true that certain seasons of waiting are beyond our control, there are times when we prolong our own waiting because we are not following God's leading. Obedience is a crucial aspect of our walk with Christ. Sometimes, the breakthrough we are waiting for is on the other side of a step of faith. We may be asking God to move, but He is waiting for us to act on what He has already told us to do. It could be a call to forgive someone, to start a new venture, or to let go of a toxic relationship. Whatever the case, our obedience often unlocks the next season of our lives. In the story of Abraham, God promised him that he would be the father of many nations. However, that promise was not fulfilled until Abraham demonstrated radical obedience by being willing to sacrifice his son Isaac, Genesis 22. It was through Abraham's obedience that God confirmed his covenant and blessed him abundantly. In your own life, consider if there is an area where God is calling you to obey. Are you holding on to something he has asked you to let go of? Are you afraid to take a step of faith because of uncertainty or fear? If so, this may be the reason why your season has not yet ended. God is waiting for you to trust Him and step into the unknown, believing that He will guide and provide for you along the way. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 encourages us, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. As you submit to God's will and obey His leading, you may find that the unwanted season comes to an end as you step into the new chapter He has prepared for you. 5. Learning Contentment in the Present Moment One of the most challenging aspects of enduring an unwanted season is learning to be content even when circumstances do not align with our desires. Contentment does not mean complacency or giving up on our dreams but it does mean finding peace and joy in Christ, regardless of our external situation. The Apostle Paul, who experienced numerous trials, including imprisonment and persecution, wrote in Philippians 4 verses 11 to 13, Not that I am speaking of being in need, for I have learned in whatever situation I am to be content. I know how to be brought low, and I know how to abound. In any and every circumstance, I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger, abundance and need. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Paul's contentment was not based on his circumstances, but on his relationship with Christ. He understood that true fulfillment comes from knowing and relying on Jesus, not from external success or material blessings. In the same way, we are called to find our contentment in Christ alone. 
when we stop striving to change our circumstances and instead rest in God's presence, we open ourselves up to experiencing His peace, even in the midst of waiting. Contentment is not about giving up hope for change. It's about trusting that God's timing and plan are perfect and that He is enough for us in every season. 6. The Hope of God's Promises Though it may feel like the unwanted season will never end, we can find comfort and strength in the hope of God's promises. The Bible is full of stories where God's people endured long periods of waiting, yet His promises to them were never forgotten. In the same way, He has not forgotten you. He hears your prayers, even in the silence, and is actively working on your behalf, though you may not see it yet. One of the greatest challenges during a season of waiting is the feeling that we have been overlooked or abandoned. The delay in our desires being fulfilled can lead to doubts creeping in, making us question whether God truly cares about our situation or if He is even listening. However, Scripture consistently reassures us that God is a promise-keeping God, and He has not forgotten His children. Just as seasons change in nature, moving from winter to spring, from barrenness to bloom, so do the seasons of our lives. In the coldest, darkest moments, it may seem as if winter will never end, but spring always comes. The same is true in the spiritual realm. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1 tells us, For everything, there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven. This reminds us that even the most difficult periods have an expiration date, and God controls the timing of our breakthrough. Isaiah 40 verse 31 provides us with a powerful promise. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. This passage emphasizes that waiting on God is not a passive act. Rather, it's a season of active trust and growth. As we wait, God renews our strength. He doesn't leave us weak and vulnerable. Instead, He equips us to soar like eagles, run without growing weary, and walk without fainting. These are signs of endurance, resilience, and divine support that only come when we wait upon Him. The waiting process refines us. It strengthens our faith and teaches us to rely on God's power rather than our own. Though we may grow impatient, God is using the delay to prepare us for the fulfillment of His promises, so that when they come, we are ready to receive and steward them well. He knows the exact time when His promise will manifest, and we can trust that His timing is perfect. Another foundational promise is found in Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. This verse was given to the Israelites during a time of exile, a season of waiting and suffering. It's a reminder that even when life feels overwhelming and we are faced with unwanted circumstances, God is orchestrating His plans for our good. The key here is understanding that God's plans are always for our ultimate benefit, even if they do not align with our immediate desires. God sees the bigger picture. He knows that certain things in our lives must fall into place before His promises can be fulfilled. Just like a tapestry being woven, each thread of our lives, even the difficult seasons, contributes to the masterpiece He is creating. Sometimes, what feels like a delay is actually God working behind the scenes, preparing everything for the perfect outcome. This is where our faith comes into play. We may not always understand why we are in a particular season, but we can rest in the assurance that God's plans for us are good. He is not cruel or unkind. He is a loving Father who is guiding us toward a future filled with hope. The waiting period is often where we develop the faith and maturity needed to fully embrace the plans He has for us. It's important to remember that God's promises are not subject to change based on our circumstances. Hebrews 13 verse 8 tells us, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. His character is consistent and His promises are unshakable. What He has spoken over your life will come to pass, regardless of how long the waiting period lasts. Unlike human promises, which can be broken or forgotten, God's Word stands forever. In 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20, we are reminded, For all the promises of God find their yes in Him. 
That is why it is through him that we utter our amen to God for his glory. This means that every promise God has made is guaranteed to be fulfilled through Jesus Christ. As believers, we have the privilege of standing on these promises, knowing that God is faithful to bring them to fruition in his timing. While the waiting process is difficult, it is not without purpose. We can take comfort in knowing that God is using this time to shape us, prepare us, and bring us closer to him. The hope we have in his promises is what sustains us during these challenging seasons. Romans 8 verses 24 to 25 says, For in this hope we were saved. Now hope that is seen is not hope. For who hopes for what he sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. This verse captures the essence of biblical hope. It's not based on what we can see in the present, but on the assurance of God's promises for the future. Hope is what carries us through the darkness, allowing us to hold on to the truth that better days are coming. Even when it feels like nothing is changing, hope anchors us in the belief that God is at work and His promises will come to pass. It's important to surround ourselves with reminders of God's faithfulness. Look back on the times when God has answered your prayers or brought you through difficult seasons in the past. These testimonies serve as powerful reminders that He will do it again. Sometimes, simply remembering His past faithfulness is enough to reignite our hope for the future. Finally, trusting in God's promises means trusting in His process. The journey of faith is rarely a straight line, and the waiting period is often filled with twists and turns. However, God uses every step of the process to prepare us for the fulfillment of His promises. Just as a potter carefully molds clay into a vessel, God is shaping us into the people we need to be in order to carry out His plans. Isaiah 64 verse 8 says, But now, O Lord, You are our Father. We are the clay, and You are our potter. We are all the work of Your hand. This imagery reminds us that we are in the hands of a skilled Creator who knows exactly what He is doing. The waiting period is a time of molding and shaping, where God refines our character, deepens our faith, and equips us for the blessings He has in store. Trusting the process also means surrendering our timeline to God. We often want things to happen quickly, but God is not bound by our sense of urgency. His timing is always perfect, and He knows when the fulfillment of His promises will have the greatest impact on our lives and the lives of those around us. Though the waiting season may be long and difficult, the hope of God's promises is our anchor. He has not forgotten you, and He is faithful to fulfill every promise He has spoken over your life. As you wait, allow God to strengthen your faith, renew your hope, and prepare you for the blessings that are to come. In the meantime, remember that waiting on the Lord is not passive. It is an active process of trusting, seeking, and growing in Him. With each passing day, you are one step closer to the fulfillment of His promises. Stand firm in your faith, knowing that God's plans for your life are good, and He is working all things together for your good. Romans 8 verse 28. No matter how long the wait, God's promises are worth it. Hold on to hope, for He who promised is faithful. Hebrews 10 verse 23. The season will change, and when it does, you will see the fruit of your faithfulness and the goodness of God in ways you never imagined. 7. God is strengthening your dependence on Him. In our fast-paced world, where instant gratification has become the norm, seasons of waiting can feel like a test of endurance. Yet, it is often in these times of waiting that God draws us closer to Him, teaching us to rely more on His strength and less on our own. This is perhaps one of the most important reasons why God allows unwanted seasons to persist in our lives. He is strengthening our dependence on Him. In John 15 verse 5, Jesus tells His disciples, I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me, and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me you can do nothing. This scripture is a reminder that without staying connected to God, Without relying on Him for our daily needs and guidance, we are unable to bear lasting fruit. Sometimes, in the busyness of life, we may become self-reliant, 
attempting to control every aspect of our journey. However, God lovingly brings us back to a place where we have no choice but to depend entirely on Him. Unwanted seasons are often moments when we realize just how powerless we are to change our circumstances. They can strip away our illusions of control, forcing us to turn to God as our only source of strength, wisdom, and provision. This dependence on Him is not a sign of weakness, but rather the foundation of a thriving spiritual life. It is through this reliance on God that we experience His faithfulness and provision in new and profound ways. Consider the Israelites during their 40 years in the wilderness. God provided them with manna from heaven each day, enough for their daily needs but never more than that. Exodus 16 This was God's way of teaching them to trust in His provision day by day, moment by moment. In the same way, God may allow your season of waiting to linger so that you learn to trust Him for daily strength, wisdom, and sustenance. When we learn to depend on God fully, we begin to experience His presence and power in ways that we might not have when life is going smoothly. In our weakness, He is strong. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9 This deepening of our relationship with God is one of the most beautiful fruits of an unwanted season, even if it's not the outcome we initially sought. Furthermore, as we deepen our dependence on God, we also cultivate the discipline of prayer. In times of waiting, our prayers often become more fervent, consistent, and heartfelt. We begin to realize that prayer is not just about asking God for things, but about developing intimacy with Him. It's through prayer that we align our hearts with God's will, receive His peace, and gain the endurance needed to persist through the season. When we come out of these periods of waiting, we often find that our faith has grown stronger. We no longer see God as just a distant provider, but as a close and personal Father who walks with us through every valley and over every mountain. The unwanted season, in hindsight, becomes the time when our faith was refined and our dependence on God deepened in ways we never thought possible. This final point emphasizes how unwanted seasons teach us to rely fully on God, deepening our relationship with Him through prayer, trust, and a growing awareness of His power and presence in our lives. With this addition, the text now covers seven complete and thoughtful reasons for why God may not yet have ended an unwanted season in your life. In the midst of an unwanted season, it can be tempting to give in to doubt, frustration, or despair. However, as we have explored, there are many reasons why God may be allowing this time of waiting. Whether He is growing you, protecting you, preparing you for a greater purpose, or waiting for your obedience, we can trust, instead of viewing your unwanted season as a punishment or an obstacle, begin to see it as an opportunity for growth, faith, and deeper intimacy with God. As you learn to trust Him, even in the waiting, you will find that He is with you every step of the way, guiding you into the future He has prepared for you. So, if you are in an unwanted season today, remember that God has not forgotten you. He is working behind the scenes in ways you cannot yet see. Keep trusting, keep growing, and keep seeking Him, knowing that in His perfect timing, the season will change and the blessings He has prepared will be revealed.